pilot season. A television pilot, also known as a pilot episode, and sometimes marketed as a telly movie, is a standalone episode of a television series that is used to sell the show to a television network. At the time of its creation, the pilot episode is meant to be the testing ground to gauge whether a series will be successful and is therefore a test episode of an intended television series. In other words, it's an early step in the development of a television series. In the case of a successful television series, the pilot is calmly the very first episode that is aired of the particular series often known as the episode that gets the series off the ground. A backdoor pilot is an episode of an existing successful series that features future tie-in characters of an up-and-coming television series or film. The purpose of the backdoor pilot is to introduce the characters to an audience before the creators decide on whether they want to pursue a spin-off series with those characters or not. Television networks use pilot episodes to discover whether an entertaining concept can be successfully realized. After seeing the sample of the proposed product, networks will then determine whether the expense of additional episodes is justified. They are best thought of as prototypes of the show that is to follow because elements often change from pilot to series. It's estimated that only a little over a quarter of all pilots made for American television proceed to the series stage and some years even lower. Most pilots are never publicly screened if they fail to sell a series. If a series makes it, then the pilot episode is usually, but not always, broadcast as the introductory episode of the series. Now keep in mind, the survival odds of these new series are very low, as typically only one or two of them survive for more than one season. Each summer, the American broadcast television networks, including ABC, CBS, the CW, Fox, and NBC receive hundreds of brief elevator pitches, each for new shows from writers and producers. That fall, each network requests scripts for about 60 to 80 of these pitches, and the following January orders about 20 pilot episodes. Now, actors come from Los Angeles, Chicago, Atlanta, Miami, Denmark, all over the world, <laughs> just to have an opportunity to be cast in one of these pilots, which is why pilot season is known as the busiest season in the entertainment industry. By spring, actors are cast and production crews assembled to produce the pilot. Casting is a lengthy and very competitive process. For the 1994 pilot of Friends, the casting director reviewed more than a thousand actors' headshots for each of the six main roles. She summoned 75 actors for each role to audition, then chose some to audition again for the show's creators. Of this group, the creators chose some to audition again for Warner Brother executives. These executives chose the final group of a few actors to audition for NBC executives. As they decide whether to purchase a pilot, network executives generally have the ultimate authority over casting. Since the networks work on the same shared schedule, directors, actors, and others must choose the best pilot to work for with the hopes that the network will choose it. If it is not chosen, they have wasted their time and money and may have missed out on a better career opportunity. Once the pilots have been produced, the pilots are presented to the studio and network executives and in some cases, to test audiences. At this point, each pilot episode receives various degrees of feedback and is gauged on its potential to advance from one pilot to a full-fledged series. Using this feedback and factoring in the current status and future potential of the existing series, each network chooses about four to eight pilots 
for series status. The new series are then presented at the network's annual upfronts in May, where they are added to the network schedules for the following season. And at the upfront presentation, the shows are shown to potential advertisers and the networks sell the majority of the advertising for their new pilots. If a network is not completely sold on a potential series premise, but still wants to see its on-screen execution, and since a single pilot can be expensive to produce, a pilot presentation may be ordered. Depending on the potential series nature, a pilot presentation is a one-day shoot that when edited together, gives a general idea of the look and feel of the proposed show. Presentations are usually between seven and 10 minutes. These pilot presentations will not be shown on the air unless more material is added to them to make it at least 22 to 45 minutes in length. The actual duration of a 30 minute or 60 minute television program, taking into account television commercials that fill the remaining time. Occasionally, more than one pilot is commissioned for a particular proposed television series to evaluate what the show would be like with modifications. Now, understanding broadcast. Pilots usually run as the first episode of the series and more often than not are used to introduce the characters and their world to the viewer. The post-pilot series may become so different that it would not make sense for the pilot to be aired. In this case, the pilot or portions of it is often reshot, recast, or rewritten to fit the rest of the series. The pilot for Gilligan's Island, for instance, showed the castaways becoming stranded on the island. However, three roles were recast before going to series with the characters either modified or completely altered to the point where the pilot could no longer be used as a regular episode. CBS aired Gilligan's second produced episode, which had the characters already stranded on the island first. The story from the pilot was largely reworked into a flashback, which aired later with several key scenes reshot. Even Gilligan's theme song which was originally done, was rewritten and recomposed to be something completely different. If a network orders a two-hour pilot, it will usually broadcast it as a television film to recoup some of the cost, even if the network chooses to not order the show. Sometimes a made-for-TV movie is filmed as the pilot, but because of the actors not being available, the series intro is reshot and the first reshot episode is considered to be the pilot. If a network orders a two-hour pilot, it will usually broadcast it as a television film to recoup some of the cost, even if the network chooses to not order the show. Now, sometimes a made-for-TV movie is filmed as the pilot, but because of actors not being available, this intro is reshot and the first reshot episode is considered the pilot. The original Cagney and Lassie movie co-starred Loretta Swift, famous from the TV show MASH, as the character Chris Cagney, but when she could not get out of her contract, they reshot it with Meg Foster, who after the first season was replaced with Sharon Gleese. Therefore, the original movie is not considered a pilot and is not included in the series collections on DVD. In some cases, this does not interfere with broadcast, such as Jackie Cooper playing the role of Walter Carlson in the TV movie pilot of the 1975 series, The Invisible Man, but replaced by Craig Stevens for the remainder of the series. The pilot is still considered part of the series and released to DVD as such. Likewise, The Homecoming, a Christmas story, had an almost entirely different cast than the series it was intended to pilot, The Waltons, but both were rerun for many years. The majority of TV pilots are aired twice, typically in September and December, while some have aired even more times. Examples of pilots airing three times 
typically in September, December, and June, include Scrubs, Medium, The Office, Ghost Whisperer, The Good Wife. Some examples of pilots airing more than three times. ABC aired the pilot Lost five times, first airing 18.7 million viewers, second airing to 8.8 million, third airing to 11.6, fourth airing to 8.1, and the fifth time airing to 6.4 million people. Desperate Housewives and My Name is Earl both were aired four times. Now, demos have been around since the mid-1990s. Television producers and networks have increasingly used these presentation tapes in lieu of full-length pilots. These demos tend to be substantially shorter than a standard episode and make limited use of original sets and post-production elements. The idea is merely to showcase the cast and the writing. These types of pilots are rarely broadcast, if ever although the material is sometimes fitted into a future episode of the resulting series. A demo prepared at an early stage, normally using amateur equipment, is also known as a sizzle script. Some series sold using demos were 101 Dalmatians, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, Batman the Animated Series, Black Lightning, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Charmed, it's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, King of the Hill, Mad, One Tree Hill, Pepper Ann, Recess, Superman the Animated Series, Saw of the Mole Men, and Suits. The demo episode is not a new concept, as the Munsters was sold on the basis of a 13-minute demo episode in 1964, while Who's Afraid of Diana Prince in the late 1960s, attempted without success to launch a comedic Wonder Woman series. Okay, now a backdoor pilot is a movie or miniseries that serves as a proof of concept for a series, but may be broadcast on its own, even if the full series is not picked up. The term may also be used for an episode of a current running show that serves to introduce a spinoff. Such backdoor pilots commonly focus on existing character or characters from the parent series who are to be given their own show. For example, to introduce a different world built around character Denise Huxtable on the Cosby Show episode, Kill Man was devoted to Denise's visit to the college that would become the new show's setting and her encounters with some of the new show's supporting characters. A 2018 episode of ABC's 1980s set sitcom, The Goldbergs, titled 19-something, heavily featured teachers who were reoccurring characters on the series served as the backdoor pilot to the TV show Schooled. In other cases, however, an episode of the parent show may also focus on one or more guest characters who have not previously appeared on the show. For example, the JAG season eighth episode, Ice Queen and Meltdown, introduced the characters for what would become NCIS, while the NCIS season six, Legend Part One and Legend Part Two, a two-part episode introduced the characters for what would become the NCIS spinoff series, NCIS Los Angeles and NCIS season 11. Two-part episode, Crescent City, introduced the characters for what would become NCIS New Orleans. Unintentional pilots. There are often telemovies or episodes within a series that are so popular that they inspire later television series. Popular examples are South Park, which began as a duo of shorts its creators made in college. The Simpsons, which began as an occasional comic short within the Tracy Omen show, and Family Guy, which began life as a short titled The Life of Larry. A two-part episode of The Six Million Dollar Man introduced the character of Jamie Summersu, despite dying in the story, was popular enough to bring back to life, and a spin-off series was commissioned, The Bionic Woman. The 2006 Doctor Who episode, School Reunion, 
was intended as a one-off reunion appearance by Sarah Jane Smith, but ended up leading to a spin-off series, The Sarah Jane Adventures. A Pup Pilot is a pilot that the network has agreed to air either as a special or a series. If the network does not air the pilot episode, the network will owe substantial monetary penalties to the studio. Generally, this guarantees that the pilot will be picked up by the network. Okay, so let's quickly recap. So remember, a pilot episode is generally the first episode of a new television show, shown to the heads of the studio to whom it is being marketed and hopefully sold to as a series. The television industry uses the term differently from most viewers. Viewers frequently consider the first episode available for their viewing to be the pilot. They therefore assume that the first episode broadcast is also the episode that sold the series to the network. This is not always true, however, in part because of the factors I mentioned earlier. For instance, the episode Invasion of Bane was not a pilot for the Sarah Jane Adventures because the BBC had committed to the first series before seeing any film content. Yet it is routinely referred to as the pilot episode. In the Canadian supernatural drama Lost Girl, the pilot that sold the series to showcase, Vexed, was used as the eighth episode of the first series. In the case of Firefly, the original pilot, Serenity, which was intended to serve as the series premiere, was rejected by the network and a new first episode, Train Job, was shot specifically for broadcast and to launch the series. Pilot season is typically known as the time where people are discovered. So actors and actresses who have been working hard, auditioning year after year, they begin to get their names known by casting directors, and these casting directors give them an opportunity to audition for series regular roles. Now, the regular world doesn't know who these actors and actresses are yet, but they are known within the industry. There is a few times where someone who is completely brand new gets an opportunity to audition for one of these series, hits a home run, and a series regular is born, and they are now working, making a minimum of $20,000 an episode. So you can imagine why pilot season is so important, especially to all of the hopefuls who want to work professionally as actors and actresses. It's a time that if you're prepared and all your tools are ready and your representation is set, you have an actual chance and shot at becoming a series regular. The only thing that I would add on to that is because of all of the streaming services now, there are pilots being cast and filmed all year long. But when we're dealing with the major networks, typically the time frame that we gave you is what is known as the foundation of pilot season. I hope this information has given you a broader understanding of pilot season and knowledge that you can use in your career.